So we need to get both PHP and Nginx running at the same time in this container. And if you noticed, one thing we installed, and I sort of just glanced over it, is we installed a supervisor, and supervisor is a process monitor. It's capable of starting multiple processes and making sure they stay alive. So we're gonna use this to have it start both Nginx and PHP FPM when the container starts. So what we're gonna end up doing is telling the container to start supervisor and its supervisor in turn is going to start nginx and php fpm so what do we need to do this there's a few components supervisor is already installed so all we really need to do is throw in a configuration for supervisor and then start it so i'm going to make a new file in here and that's going to be called supervisor with a d in the end dot conf and i'll just paste in a configuration here and we have a few things first supervisor just like nginx should be run in no daemon mode right so it should not push itself to the background by daemonizing itself instead it's going to stay running in the foreground because the container is going to run supervisor and docker needs to see that process that it starts in the foreground and then we're going to run nginx under a named program called nginx and then we'll configure another program for it to monitor and we'll tell it to run php fpm and of course specifically php fpm 7.2 and then any log files it receives any output from nginx or php fpm it should spit out to standard out or standard error where docker can uh, read it can suck that log file out and use docker logs docker's logging mechanism to read that and i'll get into that in another video so supervisor configuration generally pretty simple just set it to no daemon so it's running in the foreground so supervisor itself is and then configure any programs that you want to run and in this case it's going to run nginx and php fpm back in our docker file we can just go ahead and add that configuration we can just do add here but you can do copy as well, and I'll get into the difference between adding copy in a different video. We'll add the supervisor.conf into etsy supervisor conf.d supervisor, which is where it is looking for any files ending in .conf for configuration for supervisor. Okay, so I think that should actually be it. We're gonna go ahead and rebuild this image. We'll just keep tagging it latest, so it's gonna keep replacing the last image named and tagged latest, and the other flags stay the same, and it's really quick, right? It's just adding new file into the Docker image. So Docker image LS created less than a second ago. We have a new version of that. And then I can do, see, Docker run again. And let's see, do I want the same flag? So push it in the background, remove it when we're done. Share port 8080 on my Mac to port 80 in the container. Share the same volumes. Start the newly created image at tag latest and start Nginx. Instead of Nginx, we're going to start supervisor. So we're going to tell it to run a program supervisor with a D, supervisor, when you start the container. Okay, so docker ps, that is still running, good, it didn't fail. And we can do docker exec, and I'm going to get this dash it to make it interactive. The container we just spun up, I'm going to run bash, I'm going to execute bash inside of that running container. And we'll run psaux, and we'll see we have python, which is running supervisor, because supervisor is based on python. Supervisor itself is running Nginx and it's running PHP FPM. So we should be able to curl localhost and we get hello Docker and I'll get curl localhost index.php. Remember, I'm still in the container and we get the PHP stuff. Now, if I go over here, localhost 8080 index.php, that worked. It's running our PHP application and our application, of course, is just the PHP info dump page. And then HTML itself is going to work as well. Okay, great. So we have Supervisor up and running. Supervisor is running Nginx and PHP. And that is a great way to have one container run more than one process, which I like to do for PHP specifically. And I do it because Nginx with PHP is a little funky because it tries to find the actual PHP file on the file system before it fulfills a request, even though only PHP FPM really needs that information. So we could separate this out into two containers and have Nginx communicate to PHP FPM over a Docker network, but I like to put them into the same container because it's a little simpler in terms of sharing the same code base. All right, that container is still running, so I'll do docker stop, and we'll stop that container. And I started it with the dash dash rm flag, so there's no longer any containers to remove to clean up. Perfect. The last thing I want to show here is that we can add a default command to start with. So here, I just want to tell it to run by default supervisor. And this way, we just don't have to tell it to run supervisor by default ourselves. It'll do that automatically by adding the command flag here. So let's go ahead and run docker build again with the exact same flags. It's going to be really quick. It's just adding that uh, one line docker run. And instead of saying supervisor, I'm going to have no command. And it's going to use that one command by default. I'll copy and paste this. This is actually the full container name. It's super long by default. PSAUX. 
So I'm in that container, I have executed bash inside of it, and we'll see that supervisor is indeed running, even though when I did docker run, I didn't define a command, it just used that command as defined in the docker file for us.